aka Destiny Argumento. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Marcus Sanders. Defense. Good afternoon, Judge. We're back for Ms. Argumento. We are ready. All right. And are you Ms. Argumento? Yes, sir. Counsel, I'm showing you the discovery acknowledgement. Have you received all the discovery in this case and did you review it with your client? Yes, sure. Oh, okay. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Ms. Argumento, I'm showing you what's entitled application for deferred education or community supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it and did you sign it? Yes, sir. Next, I'm showing you what's entitled court admonishments. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it and did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, sir. Did you understand that you're being charged with the offense of unauthorized use of a vehicle? That's a state jail felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from 180 days up to two years in the state jail facility and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes. If you have a plea bargain agreement with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea bargain agreement. If for any reason the court does not follow your agreement and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Did you understand if the court would have grant your application for deferred adjudication? If for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, the court could find you guilty and sentence you up to two years in the state jail facility and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? We'll find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived her right to jury trial. Showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? According to the plea bargain agreement, state is recommending deferred adjudication. They're taking in consideration county court cause number 687991, 696305, grand jury number 777818. There's restitution, if any, to Raf Sanchez and no contact with Raf Sanchez. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, sir. Defense? Yes, sir. State? Yes, sir. Next, I'm showing you outside the plea bargain agreement, the state is requesting that your deferred adjudication be for a term of three years. There be a top evaluation, 120 hours of community service restitution, CATS 1 and 2, and more recognition, recognition therapy. Did you understand those are recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Then to the offense as charged in the information, how do you plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No, thank you. State any evidence? Yes, state offers cases with the one and attachment. No, no objection. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments and review the same. All right. After reviewing states exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty. The court will defer finding the guilt as you apply for deferred adjudication. Are you proceeding to sentencing? Yes, sir. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Uh, Judge, I just ask that the court follow the, uh, the plea agreement. Um, this argument does, um, I think, um, want to do probation. So I think it's a great opportunity for her to maybe get some things together. And uh, that's it. All right. Do you have any children? I do have two baby girls, a four year old and a three year old. Where are they? With their father. Why are they mm -hmm. not with you? Because two years ago, I, was, I had a fall out with drugs. Um, so we decided to go ahead and take baby girls. I wasn't in my right mind. I was actually like going through it, like mental health and going through the blood. But um, everything is well now with me and my daughter and so with the father. All right. When's the last time you had employment? Um, about like two months ago. Doing what? I was cabinetry, a nation's cabinetry. How far did you go in school? Uh, up to 10th grade. Why didn't you graduate? I had moved to um, Detroit, Michigan. And what are you planning on doing with the rest of your life? I'm not sure. I really do want to get my GED going. Okay. And what drugs have you been using in the past? In the past, I um did meth for two weeks i had got involved with it for the whole two weeks mm -hmm. for the fact that i was on and when i tried it for the first time i didn't know how to like you know like stop from it because i was awake mm -hmm. i was awake and i was up for all those days and i stayed up for two weeks straight and i was scared to get back on like i honestly it's kind of scary mm -hmm. i was losing my mother and everything just by thinking she was talking to me and things like that. And okay, and what's the tattoo on your cheek? The one with the jewel tone? 
right here? Yes. What is that tattoo? Oh, it's right now. I was very drunk when I got it. I tried to take it off. What does it say? It says like murder. Oh, so murder yeah. spell backwards. Yes, but I'm not, I can't even kill a roach if I wanted to throw up. <laughs> okay, so, and what is up with this gun that's tattooed on your neck? Yeah, that was, okay, I was drunk, but I got this, this, and one, oh, this one right here. Like, you can't even tell what it is. Okay, so um, that was done while you were intoxicated? Was, yes, this happened about six years ago. Okay, and where is your family? My family, my mom, she's doing her thing. She works. She's going through a divorce actually right now. Um, my kid's father, he works. He's going to college. He goes to college. Baby girl, she's in school, my oldest. And they're, they're doing fine. They're, they're good. All right. So here's the thing. They want you to take cats one and two. Uh, I'm going to give you conditions that hopefully will help you. So I'm going to give you cats one and two right now. I'm gonna make you take the moral recognition therapy, but here's cats one and two. Don't steal. Don't take what doesn't belong to you. And as a side to the class that I give people, the other thing is don't go to a place unless that person who owns the place or has control of the place invites you. Don't go if a third person invites you. And if you do show up at some place and someone who invited you asks you to leave, leave. If you follow those rules, you will do just fine. And here's another rule as a side note. In my experience, I've discovered that nothing good happens after midnight. You have children, you need to make sure you're home before midnight. If you're home before midnight, usually nothing bad will happen. You understand? Yes. Uh, the moral recognition therapy, my understanding that's to tell you to do what's right. It's something that people should have learned in preschool, kindergarten, or at least first grade. So when they give you that moral recognition therapy, I'm sure it's going to talk to you about not taking things that don't belong to you. Okay. All right. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, it's going to be three years deferred adjudication. There's to be regular reporting by Zoom or in person, restitution and no contact with Ralph Sanchez. I'm gonna do the UA hotline and she needs to test at least once a week. I'm gonna want sober meetings, 90 meetings in 90 days. We're gonna do a TAP evaluation, whatever the TAP evaluation recommends. We're gonna start with intensive outpatient treatment. I'm gonna want field visits two times per month. And if probation wants one of those field visits to count as a reporting, it can. The MRT course, 120 hours of community service restitution, 40 of those hours will be waived if you provide proof of the COVID vaccination. Court is not requiring you to get the COVID vaccination, but if you do, um, 40 of those hours will be waived. Parenting classes, um, triple T, once you complete that, the entirety of the community service hours will be waived. Proof of employment within 30 days. There should be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. And there should be no unsupervised contact with minors. Probation, is there anything else you need? Is there anything else you need for me in order to be successful? Um, everything, the addresses and everything's on there. I'm sorry, what? All the addresses to attend. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna give it to you. Probation will let you know. Okay. Okay. Yes. Sir. And this court communication is key to be successful on probation. I require that people report. Don't turn up missing. You understand? understand? All right. We can go off the record. Good luck to you. I mean, I have nothing against tattoos, but if you're gonna get a tattoo, make sure it's not while you're intoxicated. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck. Court is calling 2022 CR 11474W, State of Texas versus Destiny Argumento. Could I have the parties announced for the record for the state? Daniel Escobar for the state of Texas. Defense? Cheryl, Cheryl Patterson for the defense. All right. And are you Destiny Argumento? I'm no, ma'am. Well, Amanda, Destiny yes, Argumento. All right. I'm showing you what's entitled Motion to Revoke. Uh, 
I'm sorry. Judge, really quickly, sorry to interrupt. Uh, defense and I had spoken. I think defense had filed a motion for competency eval. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what we wanted to approach on. Ah. So where are we on the competency? I don't, I, I filed the motion. I don't know that anything has happened. All right, when was the motion filed? I uh, believe it was early part of last week. Oh, they're right. Okay, thank you. All right, so it's been referred uh, to magistrate's court. So, uh, Ms. Ferguson, I need to reset on this. Can you let the magistrate know that she doesn't need an informal inquiry, that yeah. she just needs an evaluation? Your Honor, we'd actually, uh, in speaking with the prosecutor and in, with my client, we'd actually like to withdraw that motion. Um, we feel that she just did not understand uh, the questions and was very nervous that day. Okay. All right, we're on the record then. Are you uh, Amanda or Destiny Argamata Meadow? Yes, ma'am. Can you raise your right hand for me? Do you solemnly swear affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God? Yes, ma'am. All right, you can lower your hand. Do you know uh, who your attorney is? Yes, ma'am. Who is your attorney? It's hard to pronounce her last name. Okay, what's her first name? Sorry. Can you point to your attorney? Who is your attorney? All right. Have you had a chance to discuss her and discuss your case? Yes, ma'am. What are you on probation for? Um, I'm not the right to use a vehicle. All right. And who is the prosecutor in this case? Um, I am. No. Who is actually um, trying to prove that you violated the conditions of your probation? Mm, excuse me. I don't understand. All right. How far did you go in school? In ninth grade. Okay. All right. Do um, you're on probation? Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You understand? You tell me you're on probation for an auto authorized use of a vehicle. Yes, ma'am. What is your range of punishment? It was um, two years of probation and parenting classes. All right. If I were to send you to prison or to the state jail facility, how much time could I give you? It's two years. Okay. So um, with regards to this motion to revoke, yes, who has to prove to the court that you didn't do what you were supposed to do on a motion to revoke? Myself. I'm sorry? Myself. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think she may need an evaluation. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. All right, so this is going to be set for our evaluation. Ms. Ferguson, what date can we bring this back? Ms. Ferguson, if you will again just let them know that there's no need for an informal inquiry. The court is requesting that the evaluation be done. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Court is calling 2022 CR 11474W, State of Texas versus Destiny Argumento. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Jason Gearhead, your defense. John Young for the defense. And are you Mr. Uh, I'm sorry, are you Miss Argumetto? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. I'm going to show you what's entitled Motion to Enter Adjudication of Guilt and Revoke Community Supervision. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes, Your Honor. Are you the same Amanda Argumetto who was placed on deferred adjudication in 2022 CR 11474W? for the offense of unauthorized use of a vehicle on December 6, 2022, for a period of three years. Is that you? Yes, Your Honor. All right. State? Violated condition number one on or about the 23rd day of March 2023 in Bear County, Texas. The defendant, Amanda Armageddo. Argumento. Okay, I can't say that. <laughs> uh, committed the offense of theft, 2,500 to 30,000 vehicle in violation of condition number one. How do you plead to that? True or not true? True. Your Honor, we'll waive the remaining violated conditions. Any objections to no, the waivers? What we're asking. No, no, no. Uh, no. any objections to the no waivers? No. All right. Uh, Ms. Argumento, did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number one, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, sentence you up to two years in the state jail facility and up to $10,000 fine? Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number one? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find violation of condition number one true. Is there an agreement? No, there is not, Your Honor. State, what are you requesting? Revocation, Your Honor. 
Defense, what are you requesting? Your Honor, uh, there was an agreement in that they were going to TIC and dismiss the new charge. That is correct. Uh, she is requesting the court to allow her to stay on probation. I was hit, whoops, I can't get around here. Mm -hmm. There's four documents, there are certificates of uh, classes she's attended while she's been in the uh, in the jail. Any objections to the court reviewing this? No, Your Honor. Uh, the state has reviewed the evidence. Okay. As we said earlier, Your Honor, this young lady had been uh, evaluated for competency, uh, was found competent. She wants to stay on probation. And she what she would like to do is have you put her in outpatient treatment. Uh, at the same time, I've advised her that if you do keep her on probation, that there is a, a high probability that there would be residential drug treatment. Uh, as you can see, she's taken from anger management classes, uh, uh, and the uh, AA classes. And I don't understand what the other one is. It looks like it's uh, a, a dignity class for women. And I don't know what the basis for that was. All right, probation. Our probation uh, recommendation is to revoke due to the new felony offense and she uh, absconded with non-compliance. All right, uh, Ms. Agameda, is there anything you wish to say? Um, yes, ma'am. All right. Can you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes, Your Honor. All right. You can lower your hand if you'll state your name for the record. My name is Amanda Argumado, and I would like to um, have a second chance on probation. I will attend the classes. I will go to everything. I was still on my my drug problems like then, but I am I'm completely done with it. The thought of drugs, like I do not even want to think of it, makes me want to puke. Like just thinking back and hearing my kid's voice, my daughter's voice, my kid's dad is waiting on getting back with me, getting the family back together. And I just really want to go back to that. How old are your children? Three and four, ma'am. All right. And who's taking care of them? Their father. All right. So were your parental rights terminated? Uh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. So you just dropped them off with the father? I decided to leave when I was on drugs and Yes, I was really bad on them, but I did stop. I did stop. All right. So what have you done on probation other than pick up new cases? I did not attend because I was like, I was just- no, I mean, like, have you done anything? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. All right. Is there anything else from either side? Any other questions? Not from the state, Your Honor. All right. You have a question? Why should the judge believe that you're going to do what you have said you're going to do and that you didn't do last time? Because I'm really committed to it, I'm honestly, and I apologize for not going to my probation and everything. Like, I apologize. I'm really committed to doing, to completing it this time. And why did the previous attorney have you evaluated for competency? And I didn't, she wasn't, we didn't talk about the case, right? And Okay. And you're not on any medication now in the jail? No, sir. Okay. No other questions, Your Honor. All right. Uh, any questions from the state? No, Your Honor. State, what are you requesting? I know you're requesting revocation. The court is going to grant uh, the motion. The court is going to find you guilty. And the court will not grant you community supervision. State, how much time are you asking for? State was requesting 12 months in the state jail facility, Your Honor. Defense, what are you requesting? Your Honor, she currently has 116 days in Bear County Jail uh, on this case, and we're asking the court to, to grant her a request for six month sentence. All right, if you want at the state jail facility, they do have a therapeutic community. And that does not increase the time that you have been in custody. If I were to sentence you to six months or 12 months or 18 months, that will still be your sentence. And therapeutic community is just there to help you. Would you like that? Yes, ma'am.
All right. The court is going to find you guilty. The court will sentence you to 18 months in the state jail facility. Uh, ask that you be placed in the therapeutic community. You're still going to have to request it. Do you understand? Yes. Give you credit for any time served. All right. We can go off the record. So, Ms. Argumetta, I always review everything. And when you were placed on deferred adjudication, and here there were several cases that were taken in consideration. And so the only thing that you've done since you were on probation with me was pick up another theft case and you're on probation for authorized use. You're going to have to make a decision on what you want to do with the rest of your life. Yes, sir. Do not, when you get out, go running to be with your children, because at this point in stage, you haven't been a mother to them and you can't go running on their doorstep, creating chaos and up people. If you get your life together, you can probably slowly enter their life. You understand? Yes, All right. Good luck to you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.